Throughout the history of Stan Twitter, several moments stand out amongst Stans as defining moments for the community. Cultural resets. Often these moments are viral enough that they reach locals and sometimes they even make the news. Which was exactly what happened with Dorothy, the Ariana Grande Stan who managed to tweet from her LG smart fridge. On July 24th, 2019, the account Thank you Next 327 was created, aka Dorothy. Thank you Next 327 was an Ariana Grande fan account and two days after its creation had managed to gain a decent following and Dorothy celebrated reaching 500 followers on August 3rd. Little did Dorothy know that the next day, after only 10 days on Twitter, she was about to go viral. On August 4th, 2019, Dorothy tweeted a photo of Ariana Grande crying alongside the following message. I'm leaving forever. My mum took my phone. I'll miss you all so much. I'm crying. Goodbye. And when you take a closer look at the tweet, you can see that Dorothy had shared it from a Nintendo 3DS. Minutes after, another tweet was posted to the account, but this time by Dorothy's mother. I have seen that Dorothy has been using Twitter on her Nintendo. This account will be shut down now. As you can imagine, the two tweets quickly went viral and amassed a total of 130,000 likes. Stan Twitter quickly sprang into action. Stans began sharing Dorothy and her mother's tweets and the hashtag free Dorothy was created. The next day, the saga continued when Dorothy tweeted again, this time from her Wii. You. The image was of a Minecraft book where she had written the following message. Hello, my mum took my phone and Nintendo DS so I have no choice but to use my Wii. Thank you all for the support and love. I will answer my DMs and follow back when I have a stable connection to Twitter. Bye, Dorothy. This tweet also gained several thousand likes and Dorothy continued to gain followers rapidly as the free Dorothy movement spread across Twitter. However, this wasn't the only Dorothy related tweet that stans were sharing. The same day that the Wii U tweet was published, another Ariana Grande stan created a Twitter thread titled Exposed, why hashtag free Dorothy is over slash how it started. The thread alleged that Dorothy had also been the owner of another stan account that went by the name of Veen. Veen didn't appear to be well liked by other stands and in the past had harassed users before the account was eventually deleted. One piece of evidence that the thread gave for the accusation was that Veen had previously tweeted about their mother confiscating their phone, forcing them to use a 3DS to access Twitter. From what I could find, the accusations were never confirmed or denied by anyone mentioned. The thread was met with some scepticism, particularly from a newly created Katy Perry stan account. 14 of the entire 17 tweets that the account had ever posted were about Dorothy with the majority of them denying the thread's accusations. The freshly made account claimed that they had seen both Dorothy and Veen speak in a group chat at the same time, thus they were not the same person. This account has not been used since the Dorothy situation. Despite this scepticism, the Dorothy is over party commenced, as some stands attempted to get the hashtag trending and the thread began to be shared. The following day, the Dorothy saga continued where she once again tweeted from her Wii U, telling her followers that her mum was out and she was searching for her phone. Dorothy's tweets continued throughout the day where she announced that she had found her 3DS and thanked her followers for their support. And then Dorothy reached new heights when the hashtag free Dorothy was shared by the official Twitter account under a tweet describing the entire situation so far. As you can imagine, Twitter went into overdrive with the hashtag free Dorothy movement gaining in more and more popularity. However, under Twitter's tweet, there were still several users sharing the earlier thread about Dorothy and Veen. But even with Twitter's official recognition of Dorothy and her 3DS, the saga still hadn't reached its peak. This happened two days later on the 8th of August when Dorothy tweeted, I do not know if this is going to tweet. I am talking to my fridge. What the heck? My mum confiscated all of my electronics again. And this had been tweeted from an LG smart refrigerator. Refrigerator. The tweet blew up, gaining 70,000 likes, and one tweet sharing the Dorothy saga gained 361,000 likes and almost 100,000 retweets. 
Twitter later branded Dorothy an icon and even LG themselves tweeted about the situation after her fridge tweet. Hashtag free Dorothy was viral. From the tweets, Dorothy had gained approximately 37,000 followers and it wasn't long before the girl who tweeted from an LG smart refrigerator because her mum had confiscated her phone hit news headlines with some pretty interesting revelations. Several news articles were published about the situation in the days that followed, some discussing the advancements of technology, some discussing the impacts of social media, while others discussed the legitimacy of Dorothy's tweet. Both The Guardian and CBS published articles about the tweets and even interviewed the Dorothy. Dorothy was answering the journalist's questions via her cousin's iPad and or iPod, as her tech was still confiscated. Dorothy revealed that her mum had confiscated her phone because Dorothy had been too focused on it while cooking rice and she had caused a fire. She had then become very desperate to access Twitter, worried that she would lose her mutuals. Dorothy's story was even mentioned on a BBC News show. Which sounds like a good plan, but uh, Dorothy had a few other ideas for mobile phones are not the only way we can talk to the world these days. Uh, this Ariana Grande fan went on to tweet from all sorts of devices, two games consoles, first of all, and then finally she resorted to her smart fridge. The video of this was shared by the Katy Perry stan from earlier, who tagged Ariana Grande in the post, saying that she just had to see it. Dorothy retweeted the video and it gained almost 300,000 views. But the big question that the entirety of Twitter still had was did Dorothy actually tweet from an LG smart refrigerator? To which there was a very disappointing answer. No, she didn't. Or at least it is extremely unlikely that she did. In the Guardian article, LG said although it is possible to access Twitter via the web browser on their smart fridges, they were unable to say whether Dorothy herself had done this. Despite LG's fake comment, The Guardian went on to speak to a computer researcher who concluded from the metadata that while the 3DS and Wii U tweets were legit, the LG smart refrigerator tweet was definitely manually created, most likely from a custom Twitter app. Well, back in April of 2019, a tutorial was posted to YouTube on the channel MG that showed Twitter users how to create a custom Twitter app and change the Twitter from part of their tweet. One of these steps involves having a developer Twitter account, which you have to sign up for separately. For this video, I attempted to follow the tutorial and tweet from an LG smart fridge, and I actually managed to make two hilarious tweets of my own using the developer functions. It did take a while, but by following the tutorial and copying the code, the whole thing was relatively easy to do. So with the tweets being proven fake, let's discuss the aftermath of Dorothy. After the free Dorothy situation began to slowly die down, Dorothy's Twitter account was still active and some cryptic tweets were posted regarding the situation. In September of 2019, Dorothy tweeted, come in soon, along with a video of the Netflix logo animation. Dorothy is trying her best to tweet, despite her mom confiscating all her electronics. We were all together as a family then and it was on the news all the time. This led people to speculate that she was going to be on Netflix, and some people even theorised that Dorothy's mother had been interviewed by them. The cryptic tweet, however, didn't materialise to anything, and in 2020, Dorothy shared her Netflix tweet again with the caption, What could have been? Would you like a story time of what happened? Despite the overwhelming yes people gave in the replies, the story time never came. Another cryptic tweet from Dorothy was published in March 2020, where she quote tweeted the official Twitter's hashtag free Dorothy tweet, saying, My biggest mistake was letting the press take advantage of me at 15. My story coming soon. But once again, this story never came. Dorothy has since deleted all of her tweets prior to 2020, which includes the 3DS, Wii U and LG Smart Fridge tweets, the modern day burning of the Library of Alexandria. In May 2020, Dorothy addressed the missing tweets, saying that she had deleted them as she was embarrassed seeing how desperate she was for her phone and that she had changed. Dorothy has also criticised those who have shared the tweets since the situation, telling people not to exploit her trauma for likes. She has also asked for users to stop downplaying her trauma as they do not know what she has gone through. 
Every now and then, Dorothy does mention her LG Smart Fridge past, usually when other people tweet something similar, as she is the blueprint. To this day, no one really knows who or what is behind the account, or if it really is just Dorothy. LG themselves have denied that Dorothy was a marked employee created by them, stating that their only involvement was their free Dorothy tweet, which makes sense as it does seem like a lot of commitment for a corporation to keep an Ariana Grande fan page up and running for several years after it had served its promotional purpose, but stranger things have happened. Dorothy and her tweets are mentioned on Twitter daily as people reminisce about the chaos that was Twitter that week, and despite the many loose ends and unanswered questions, Dorothy and her iconic tweets will go down in the Stan Twitter history books. Please remember that this video is not intended to target or harass anyone mentioned in it, nor does it encourage anyone to harass, target or reach out to anyone from the video. Although all the information mentioned in the video is available to the public, please be respectful as we do not know the identities of those mentioned in the video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for similar videos in the future.